Filings today from Team Trump raise new questions about the credibility of the two prosecutors going after the former president in Georgia. Cell phone location data strongly suggests that Nathan Wade spent a significant amount of time at Fannie Willis's condo and definitely not during normal business hours. Media analyst Arthur of Uncovered, Steve Krakauer, is with us now. If this means what we think it does, Steve, 2,000 phone calls, 12,000 texts, uh, it means Fannie Willis uh, and Nathan Wade uh, likely committed perjury. How long do you think until the media abandons Fannie Willis? I think it's coming soon. And I have to say, between the filings and what happened last week, which we should thank Judge McAfee for just live streaming this hearing. You don't normally get to see this, but when you actually got to see it in action, that's when you start to say, oh, you know, there, there's something, there's a real there there. So the knee-jerk response, oh, it's racism, it's sexism, that doesn't hold up because everyone actually got to see it. And what they got to see was also the questioning of, of these two people, uh, Fannie Willis, who paid Nathan Wade $650,000 of taxpayer money to investigate Donald Trump and uh, engage in a relationship with him. They were quite defensive on the stand. Take a listen. Let's say more than 10, but I'm not sure that that's even accurate. Uh, he certainly has come and picked me up, gone to grab some food to eat. Uh, I don't remember him being in that condo a lot. So if phone records were to reflect that you were making phone calls from the same location as the condo before November uh, 1st of 2021, and it was on multiple occasions, the phone records would be wrong? If phone records reflected that, yes, sir. They'd be wrong. They'd be wrong. All right. At what level and at what point does the media become less interested in defending Bonnie Willis and Nathan Wade and more interested in trying to push her out in order to get someone else they would want to go after Donald Trump? That's the key question, right? This, they, this is so important for the Democratic Party, for elements of the corporate media. These Trump trials are the whole game. The, all of the, 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 everything's riding on this. So if you have this really credibility, you know, it is being tainted right now because of Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade, you've got this very important case in Georgia that a lot is riding on when it comes to a Trump prosecution that he cannot then go and potentially, you know, get himself out of after he wins the presidency. So. Right. I think this is hugely important. I think that, that very soon you're going to see the media start to shift to, to, to really stating the obvious, which is all of the conflicts and we'll that we see, see if, in this we'll case. see what Donald Trump has to say about this uh, right on, the, on the... Yeah, Steve, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.